Hi there, folks. Uh, one of our guys in our offices has this stupid idea where we have to do another unboxing video. This time we choose a big box so you can see something. We will have something to open and probably something's gonna be in this box. So actually, we are gonna open one of the fundamental IT security Lego bricks, which is a firewall. This time from Wender Hillstone. I can tell you guys that in this box is supposed to be a rack mount 19 inch firewall that should support around 1 to 1.5 gigabit throughput. A lot of interfaces, a lot of different options which you can get from one single firewall. You have all these beautiful features as SSL decryption, deep inspection, sandboxing, you can do user authentication stuff, net, you can do carrier grade nap, whatever you wish, you can do with this box. But first, if you want to use it, you probably have to open it. So I'll use this highly advanced IT specialized utility knife to open our box, which is freshly arrived last week. We took it in our hands on our risk conference, which by the way, please do check the videos because they're great. And let's see if there's something in the box. Um, I would like to say my personal thanks to my super assistant Samo, which is actually filming this video and who forced me to do it. So anything you don't like, please send to his feet, not mine. Uh, well, there's another box here. Maybe we'll move that out of the way which probably will scare any non-IT professional people. Why? Because there's a lot of cables in here and some people will already ask themselves, oh, what should I do with those? So first of all, of course, you have a couple of UTP cables, which are, well, probably already in your possession and you don't really need them. And there's a specialized cable that please never throw away. Why? Because if anything goes every wrong with your firewall appliance, you will better have this cable to bring it back to life. And this is actually a serial to console cable, which you have to always have on stock. If something happens to the appliance firmware, you screw it up with upgrade or whatever, you'll use this cable to bring it back to life. Actually, my advice would be keep it with the box installed, have it on hand because this will be the quickest way to restore the firewall. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you'll probably be looking for this cable for hours because somebody threw it somewhere. One more notice, as you can see, there's a DB9 serial connector, which you probably don't already have anymore in your laptop. So be sure to have USB to serial adapter ready if you have to use the console cable. Uh, this one you probably know. That's a plug cable for electricity. So even if you're not IT professional, you're gonna use that for sure on the right basis and you will not screw that up. That's a rare sight to see actually. That's a grounding cable. So actually, uh, Hillstone also includes a grounding cable for proper installation of the firewall, which actually probably means that you have a screw, grounding screw on the chassis itself to properly ground the appliance and at the end, rack mount stuff. So this is needed to install the appliance in your rack. And a little bit of utility manuals, uh, which you do not have to read anyhow. So let's go back to the actual beauty of uh, what's in the box. Um, Samo said, just, you know, just open the cable and do something for five minutes and speak about some stupid stuff. Um, I'll try not to, so I'll try to concentrate on actual IT stuff around this box, which is as you expected in a 19 inch rack mount size. Um, oh, one more advice. If you just brought the box in from like minus 10 degrees or minus five degrees Celsius, let it get to the ambient temperature before you plug it in electricity, because otherwise uh, you can have some pretty, pretty darn strange consequences because condensation and electricity, they don't go well together. So, yes, surprise, surprise. First of all, I would like to notice the backside of the appliance has IT non-professional proof interface, which means 
electricity only. So you plug in, in the electricity and that's it for you if you're not the one installing the firewall. And actually, as I said, you have the grounding connection here, which is quite rare on the appliances. And this is where this yellow green cable, which by the way, actually means grounding in electricity systems. So it's safe to touch. It should be, Other, otherwise you have a problem with your electrician. Uh, you connect to this point here and then the other side to your ground point in your rack case. Um, not much else on behind. There's not much else on the sides. And actually, all the goodies are on the front side, where we can see that actually we have already built in eight one gigabit interfaces here. One more additional here, so in total nine interfaces. And then we have a USB interface, which is used for different purposes as upgrading firewall and stuff like that. And then we have a console connector. So be sure to use the console, meaning RJ45 connector to the serial cable in here. Don't plug any network in here. This is a console port. So no network here, all your network ports are here. Um, well, actually there's a couple of LED lights here. And the nice feature of course is that uh, based on every interface, you can actually see if your interface is up, it's working, if there's traffic on it and stuff like that directly on the appliance itself. Usually uh, firewalls have just a couple of lights. They don't have the, the LED light for each port you have on the appliance. So you have to be sure to check the functionality in your management system, which you will do anyhow. Um, what's more? Well, actually this appliance has one power supply. So you have a LED, just one LED for power supply. You have a couple of more LEDs as alarm and stuff like that. So you will know if something is wrong with the appliance. And actually, um, you can add another power supply here. So this is why you just have one built in. You could add another one, have a duplicate redundancy. And then on the front, you will see both LEDs, not just one power supply, light up and see the status of them. So you'll be sure if for example, one of your power sources goes down, your firewall will not go down. Uh, one more tip for you. If you use two power cables, two power supplies, be sure to use one on UPS system and maybe one directly to the uh, power supply system. So you'll have redundancy. Um, as I said, the appliance has roughly 1.5 gigabit throughput and a lot of other nice features. And this time I'll break the Samos advice and use the papers. Why? Because, you know, I don't remember all the numbers. So you must understand that the firewall throughput is not the actual number you gonna use or reference to if you do request for papers, if you do tenders and stuff like that, because this is just a altogether number of the traffic this box can handle. Um, Actually, this box can handle 1.5 gigabit, as I stated, but up to 2 gigabit. So um, that's more than enough for any mid-sized company in the region around here. Mid-size meaning like 50 employees. Mid-size doesn't mean 500, as in states, for example. And then actually the second number, which is really, really, really useful for measuring the capacity of such box, whatever the vendor, is IPsec throughput. This box has 700 megabit IPsec throughput. And if you compare different vendors, different boxes, just look at the number of IPsec. Why? Because this will exactly tell you the processor capacity of the box. No matter what kind, vendor, appliance or whatever. If you compare the numbers in IPsec, you will get a roughly estimate of are you comparing the same size boxes? Because if we further on go to what is expected today from the next generation firewall, we can see that even though the appliance has two gigabit of throughput, actually the stated throughput of next generation firewall is only 450 megabit. It's very good to see vendors as Hillstone actually uh, write down the real numbers per performance. So you have the real numbers of next generation firewall throughput, antivirus throughput, IPsec throughput, 
firewall throughput and so on because then you can get the real estimate of what this box can do in your environment for example if you if you look at this particular number 450 megabit this does not mean that actually this is the limit in your network because you will not be doing all at once so you will not have full antivirus on all the traffic full ips full channel of available tunnels on ipsec and so on but it's a really good guidance number so if your network capacity to the internet for example is 50 megabit 100 megabit this is a safe bet but another tip most of people forget something they just compare the number of their internet throughput to the number of the throughput that firewall can handle that's not it people why because you have many segments which are local segments which are connected to those ports so what do you actually connect here is this is your LAN this is your server network this is your DMZ this is your LAN 2 this is your I don't know which department this is your gaming this is your internet provider and if you buy the box that actually has throughput of like 250 megabit and you say oh yeah but my internet is only 50 you are actually breaking and stopping and clogging everything between the internal segments so if you have communication between your workstations to your mirror server which sits in DMZ you'll efficiently limit the connection to 100 megabit for example uh, even to your Ethernet infrastructure is one gigabit so um, keep that in mind and if you look at the total throughput of the appliance calculate the traffic you also have between the local segments you'll be connecting to this one appliance um, actually what you can hear in background is my phone because usually I have a lot to do but someone made me do this video so uh, don't be disturbed there's no uh, like earthquake or whatever it's just my phone ringing um, which I'll answer later uh, and probably answer some firewall questions too um, there's not much more to say about this one I would say let's wrap it up for this it's my first try of unboxing videos hopefully you like it if not please send all the comments to Samo otherwise the good ones you can send to me uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this first real security unboxing video and hopefully uh, maybe I'll have time to do some more. Thank you.